Hey everyone, in the news this week, former strongman and larger than life celebrity Jeff Capes passed away and a spokesperson for the family said it would be a heavy burden to carry, presumably referring to if there has to be a pallbearer. It's been nearly a week mind and when one door closes another one opens. So another spokesman, this one from Guinness World Records, says that he now holds the title as the world's strongest smelling man. One of the Rotherham anti-immigrant protesters, Peter Lynch, died in prison this week. Ironically, it leaves a vacancy in the prison for one of the Asian migrants in Rotherham who were abusing underage girls. In other prison news, there was talk about freeing up cells by having prisoners tagged in place under house arrest to serve their sentences at home. And it's at this point that most of us wish the Home Secretary could put on a Les Dawson impression and talk about it being a far harsher sentence being stuck at home with the mother-in-law. Maybe the one about the mother-in-law saying she'd dance in his grave, and Les Dawson saying he hopes so because he plans to be buried at sea. And in the US, it's only a week or so until the election, and there's now talk about Trump winning the popular vote, not just the Electoral College. He went on the Joe Rogan podcast this last week and did a photo op at McDonald's to capitalise on the story about how Kamala Harris has claimed to have worked at McDonald's is all nonsense and a lie designed to appeal to working class people who think she's snooty and elitist. It could have all gone the other way, I guess, but it's very telling in retrospect that Kamala couldn't get even a minimum wage job, but then decided to blame white people and call the opposition fascists. The whole thing increasingly has a slightly fever dream quality to it, especially with people like Leonardo DiCaprio being wheeled out in an attempt to appeal to regular normal people like him. Hmm. It makes you want to look for one of those spitting totem things like in that movie Inception of his where you weren't sure what was real and what wasn't. You know, the ending of that movie is famously discussed, was it real or not? But if you want my opinion on it, then surely the answer is that the end of that movie was all make-believe because it concluded with Leo having a wife the same age as him. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe. Bye.